right wing news. This video brought to you by Noble Gold. Hello fellow Americans. Welcome to Right Wing News. I'm your host, The Voice of Reason. And I'm sure some of you have probably noticed over the last two or three days there's been a few less videos, a little more attention maybe to commercials that I've been putting out, things like that. That's just because of the new paradigm that we're in, having to, to focus a little bit more on getting new sponsors and, and things like that. Um, but that should all go back to normal. Another day or so I should be back to you know four or five videos a day, uh, if not even by tomorrow perhaps. Uh, but this particular video, uh, I wanted to announce to anyone that is currently a, a patron member that follows me or would like to be, uh, we're going to be raffling off a, a official 5-ounce America the Beautiful silver coin, which was minted at the Philadelphia Mint, and it is provided by my friend Charles Thorngren over at Noble Gold Investments. He's the CEO over there. Many of you know that I'm always saying, he who controls the information controls, right? And... There's a reason that there's an awful lot, lot of lack of information that's that's not getting to you. And as it relates to, you know, your your retirement, you know, how many of you out there could afford to lose a uh, 40% of it, maybe more, who knows, with the with the coming global reset. So, whether or not gold and silver are appropriate for you and your your IRA, who knows. But why not get the information and find out? Information never hurt anybody, but uh, Charles, being the man that he is and uh, sponsor of this channel, has agreed to go ahead and raffle off one of these five ounce coins to any patron supporters that are willing to increase their pledges to at least $20 a month uh, or, or bring on an additional patron who'd be willing to pledge $20 a month. And whoever does so is, is not only helping me tremendously uh, by providing much needed capital to, to maintain operations. Uh, but you're also receiving a, a raffle ticket for one of these five ounce silver coins. In fact, uh, I've got one right here. You would obviously get a, a different one, but as you can see they're pretty nice. Uh, it's got a pretty interesting back portion to it. Uh, mm -hmm. the, the coins are retail for $149.95. And again, the drawing will be held by Charles over at Noble Gold Investments on August the 14th. And, you know... I know that people are somewhat tired of the fundraising and the simple reality is, is right now it's a necessary evil. And for those that don't think so or may not agree, uh, I would ask you to, to take a look for yourself at this link here that really, really shows in detail the links that some of the social media platforms are going to just to make sure that the truth is not getting out and that they're controlling the narrative. It's, it's truly sick and it should scare you. Uh, and if it doesn't, maybe it will when you see some of the things that they've been hiding. Uh, citizen journalism truly is the future of journalism in this country, uh, not the, the state-run journalists or, or state-run journalism you know, that we've got right now. Uh, and to do so, it requires resources. And the only way that we're going to get those resources realistically is not through these, the, the old ad revenue campaign of YouTube, but through those that are actually viewing our work. Uh, when it comes to the mainstream media calling those folks anything other than state-run journalists or propagandists, it's, it's just ludicrous when, you know, you consider the fact that, you know, the, the very same person who owns the Washington Compost has got a, a $600 million deal with the, with the U.S. CIA. How could that person possibly be objective in anything? Uh, but, you know, not only is citizen journalism the future of this country's journalism, it's where we started. Uh, make no mistake, you know, the, the free press in this country, it began with citizen journalism. You know, even if you don't know what it is he wrote or if, you're not, if you don't remember Common Sense, most of you know that Thomas Paine wrote Common Sense, maybe one of the few things many of us remember from social studies, right? Uh, that was the, the piece that he's most famous for writing during the American Revolution, perhaps the, the original citizen journalist. Uh, but he also wrote a piece called The Crisis. And many people are familiar with at least the opening line of that piece. Piece that sounds a little bit like, these are the times that try men's souls. Summer soldier and the sunshine patriot will, in this crisis, shrink from the service of their country. But he that stands by it now deserves the love and thanks of men and women. Another uh, very famous and modern day citizen journalist uh, was Andrew Beipart. Here we're talking about a guy who's widely known as you know, the cutting edge pioneer. 
that helped blaze the trail for digital media as we know it today. Uh, I believe Breitbart is up there and now. It's like one of the top two or three most visited or like one of the most top two or three most visited sites in the world. Something crazy with their stats. Um, so it truly paved the way. And many people don't realize that you know, before founding Breitbart, he started his career as a bleeding heart liberal at the, the Huffington Post, no less. He was one of the people that, that you know, helped found and get that thing off the ground. But thankfully, he saw the light. He saw that citizen journalism is where it's at, not these, these paid hacks that are out for ratings. You know, if, if you don't approve of, of the information that I'm relaying to you, then cease, cease giving me a, a small commitment the next month, you know, until I get my act together, uh, as opposed to these folks in the mainstream media who just blatantly lie and, and don't even show any remorse when caught. Uh, this is a fantastic speech by Breitbart on citizen journalism. I encourage you to check it out. But just a few questions for you as far as whether or not committing to a small monthly donation is worth it for you. If you're asking yourself, why would I do that? Recall how many of these stories have you heard about for the mainstream media? Uh, how, much, how much evidence are you aware of exists for voter fraud in this country? You know, we're told by the mainstream media that there is no evidence, right? Well, just because they don't cover evidence doesn't mean that there is none. You've got groups like watchdog.org, you've got groups like uh, voterfraud.org, you've got uh, professors of several universities. Every study, to, to, without one exception, has shown that there was massive voter fraud. The numbers vary between 800,000 on the low end and 7 million on the high end. Uh, so that's number one. What about the, the, the nation's pension crisis that's coming? We've got the, the largest generation in, in you know, our country going into their golden years. And just in the public pension section alone, there's a $6 trillion shortfall. So imagine going into your, your, your golden years thinking you're getting, say, five grand a month and finding out you're going to be getting $2,500. <laughs> Son, daughter, moving in. Uh, how many people know that you know, in this new Bernie Gate scandal with his wife, that is the third missing DNC server. Missing or tampered with or destroyed DNC server. Not hearing about any of this, are you? Uh, everybody you know that hackers breached a U.S. power plant recently, a nuclear power plant. Kind of a big deal, I thought. Uh, what about 13 million teenagers under the Obama administration that exchanged sexual acts for food? That's how bad our economy was, despite his claims that it was, you know, we're always in a robust recovery. The only president in U.S. history never to hit 3% GDP growth once. Jackass. How many people know about the, the second secret tarmac by Clinton uh, that took place? Only this one was with the Russians. Who was colluding with the Russians? You'll never guess who she sent there. See, this happened while she was Secretary of State. She actually sent Bob Mueller to conduct a, a secret tarmac side meeting with the Russians. Uh, and you'll never guess who he was delivering. Plutonium! <laughs> Nothing wrong with that, right? Kid you not, folks. How many people know that Hillary was directly related to the wildlife refuge that was taken over by the Bundy brothers out in Oregon? Or that Eric Holder's DOJ had a slush fund that it dished out money to far-left radical groups like La Raza. Department of Justice. La Raza. Hmm. What about uh, the other famous meeting on the tarmac? You know, did the mainstream media tell you that the entire thing was recorded? Wouldn't you like to know what was said? It's too bad you can't, because the NSA won't release it. You know why? Because they say national security is at risk. You know, I, I thought we were told that it was just grandkids in golf. Didn't hear about that either, did you? you know, not only do we have the pension crisis, you've got the pension crisis on top of 102 million that are already unemployed and 9,000 major re retail stores closing between now and Christmas, many of which are listed. We're talking huge outlets, not you know, mom and pop shops. It's just going to make the number increase that much more. This is news. But you're not hearing about that from the mainstream media because that's not what they report. They report propaganda. So, again, this is why citizen journalism is the future. They're not going to change. There, there's far too much corruption. It's just systemic within the mainstream media. They are essentially the, the propaganda arm of not just the Democrat Party, but the government in general these days. So, you know... I think most of us can agree that those topics just listed, there's a lot of very serious, very important information there. That's real news. That's really happening. 
And yet the mainstream media continues to, to just invent stories. <laughs> and many of them don't even make for good entertainment, as shown by the ratings. Much less anything that even resembles news. So as the conditions in this country continue to decline, and mark my words, they're going to, if nothing else, economically, which probably means they will socially, politically, and racially as well. You know, more people are going to continue to seek actual news, valuable news, news that's really happening, uh, like the stuff that's contained in the links above. And I encourage you to check some of that stuff out. And you'll find that making a small monthly commitment to your favorite host that's at least trying to give you a 100% a, a of their effort to deliver information that the mainstream media won't uh, will be well worth the commitment. Uh, and if they're not, you can always cancel. So the days of YouTube's ad-driven you know, model, that they're, they're just done. Uh, I think for this month, I'm, I'm sitting at $60. You know, this is a, a channel that used to make, you know, between six and 10 grand a month. So uh, it's clearly going to be dependent upon those who want the information to, to help us get it to you. So again, uh, please go ahead and check out my, my page over on Patreon. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, if, even if not for $20, you know, maybe just a, a three, $5 monthly commitment would be a, a, an enormous benefit to help me to continue to get this information to you. But those that do give a commitment of at least $20 will receive a raffle ticket to be drawn on August 14th for the five ounce silver coin. And again, I thank you for your support. Voice of Reason out.